Well, hello there. Um, welcome to another Wonderworks vlog. Uh, so today, I'm doing some drawing as you can see. Who's it going to be? It's going to be a Disney character, as you probably can tell from the title. Um, but, have a guess. So yeah, I just thought I'd do some, some drawing. Um, maybe have a little talk. Because... I've been quite stressed out recently. Hence the drawing, it's quite a good stress reliever. I've been quite stressed out recently. So, I've just been thinking about that. Thought might as well have a little chat. Hope that's okay with you. Look at the little smile. Yeah. Do you know who it is yet? So anyway, yeah. Stress. Like, stress is totally normal. It's like part of everyone's sort of daily life. There's always going to be some stress. But, uh... I'm thinking, how, how do you lessen that? How do you... How do you negate it? And, I've come up with a few ways. Th these are all my lists. I am in no way a trained medical expert. But still. Look at that hair. Um, yes. So, the first thing to negate stress is, and this one might seem like stupidly obvious, but just positivity. Thinking positively. Because just a positive outlook can, can drastically change everything. If, if you're looking on the bright side, you know, it's a thousand times better than looking on the, on the miserable side. It's always better to be a glass half full person than a glass half empty. I'll be honest, sometimes Lauren's just a glass has fallen on the floor and broken sort of person. She's, uh, yeah. But yeah, positive thinking, always think positively. And if you're getting stressed out somewhere, um, remove yourself from that, that, that environment. Take a step back, a step away. Look, there we go, finish that. Jack Jack. I hope you like it. Let's do another one, yeah? Oh no, 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 I'm gonna sign my name first. And then we'll do another. Yeah, remove yourself from that stressful situation. Um, because it's always handy to take a step back and, and look at things more objectively than when you're sat in the middle of things, getting stressed out. And I think my top tip, which relates back to this drawing video. Who am I drawing now, by the way? Take a guess. Oh, what could that be? Um, is to find some sort of creative outlet. Hence the drawing. I mean, finding a creative outlet is fantastic. It, 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 it releases stress. It helps you think creatively. It increases your brain plasticity. That's science, that. So, there's a lot to be said about finding creative outlets. Oh, who could this be? Are you getting it, people? Oof. I might do a tutorial drawing one day. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, it's all, it, it's, it's all very important to have a healthy mind. It's no good getting stressed out about things and not having any sort of outlet or relief. That's why there's a lot to be said about taking time for yourself to do things like this, like drawing, or writing, or sitting and playing some music, or, or whatever it may be. There's a lot to be said for it. In fact, thinking about it, it doesn't even have to be a creative outlet. It can be any outlet. You know, some people play sports, they go running, play football, play hockey, play whatever. So long as it, it helps you, if it clears your mind, if it releases stress and anxiety, then it's worth it, yeah? Come on now, you must know what this is. Check out the ears. The little teeth. I think, uh, I think now he needs a hat, actually. Let's put a hat on. So yeah, I think uh, the end game is to try and live your life in such a way that 
you minimise that stress and you negate stress as much as you possibly can. It's not healthy people. Some stress is good. Definitely some stress is good. I mean, you're never going to get through life without any stress. But, uh, yeah, do, you, do your best to keep it down, to keep it away. Positive mind, healthy mind. And you know, if all else fails, just go and talk to someone. There's friends, there's family, there's professionals that can help. But definitely as, as your first sort of part of call, an outlet, a creative outlet, or any outlet, as I said. Look at them funny eyes. My eyebrows. So yeah, anyway, I hope this, as well as being an entertaining uh, showcase of my wonderful drawing skills, has helped in some way. By the way, I, I didn't know how to draw this. I, I found a tutorial online a couple of weeks back, so I thought, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow said tutorial. Look at that. We're done. It's the goof. And with that being said, I'm going to get gone. And I'll see you guys next time.